Hey guys, it's Joel from Whisker Loot. Today we're gonna to be tasting the Milk and Honey Sherry Cask Whiskey, which is a kosher certified whiskey out of Tel Aviv. We'll talk about the climate, we'll talk about the taste, we'll talk about some really interesting finish on this one. All right, today we're gonna to be having a look at Milk and Honey, which is a distillery out of Tel Aviv. Now the climate in Tel Aviv is really hot and humid, so the speed of the process of, of that maturation is really fast. And what you get is quite a bold and complex whiskey. Now this is a sherry cask whiskey, and it's not often that you come across a sherry cask whiskey that's actually, they've had the sherry produced specifically for the whiskey. Now they've done this in order to get around some rules and regulations to get this certified as kosher. So this is a, a kosher, um, I think one of the world's first kosher certified sherry cask whiskies. Um, they use Pedro Zimenez and Oloroso sherry cask, and they also use ex bourbon in the process as well. Now this is bottled at 46%, non-chill filtration. Uh, let's give it a go. So immediately on the nose, it's quite creamy. Um, very big hit of strawberries and, and stewed fruits and, and some cherries in there as, as well. Nearly like a, a chocolate coated cherry or, or something a little bit more zesty as well. Um, some orange zest and, and, and lemon peel in there. So it's quite a, a complex nose, quite pronounced. On the flavor profile, those big fruit flavors continue all the way through, but you've got a, a little bit more um, bitterness coming as well in, in the form of kind of dark chocolate and burnt toffee. But the sweetness is, is balancing there a little bit. It's not an overly sweet whiskey. Continuation of the cherries and strawberries as well on the palate. So think kind of strawberries dipped in chocolate, but a dark chocolate. So something that will kind of have that sweetness carried through on the strawberry, but still a bitterness um, on the palate as well. Now in terms of finish, it's coming across quite um, dry. So it's not sweet in that finish, but it is long, so it does stick around. There's a little bit of kind of salinity there and some saltiness that, that works quite well with the chocolate as well. So I think, you know, one of those dark chocolate lints uh, with some uh, sea salt in it and a little bit of pepperiness, maybe in the form of white pepper, but that, that finish is really, really long. I'm still tasting it now. So it is something that makes you want to go back for more and more. This is a really nice, complex whiskey. It's around the $120 to $140 price point. Check out whiskeyloot.com and you can sign up to get a nice uh, sample of different whiskeys from the, around the world each month. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.